What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up. You're with Justin Henry. Today, I'll be talking about the Atlanta Falcons and their top three fantasy football options heading into the 2022 season. Now, the Atlanta Falcons are going through a little bit of a rebuild, but it's okay. I got three guys that can help out your fantasy team. Uh, the first is Kyle Pitts, who had an amazing rookie year, over 1,000 yards, only one touchdown, so he left a little bit to be desired, but we know what the framework is for this amazing second-year player. Kyle Pitts is going to have a strong season. He's being drafted right now as one of the top four tight ends in fantasy drafts. I think he has potential to be a top two option. That's even with Marcus Mariota as the quarterback. So... A lot of people are concerned about his value overall because of the quarterback situation. Marcus Mariota has been able to help a lot of the tight ends that he's played with. We saw Delaney Walker have a Pro Bowl season with Marcus Mariota, so I'm not too concerned about Kyle Pitt's value. And he's going to be the wide receiver one for this team. In order for the Falcons to move the ball, it's going to have to go through Kyle Pitts. And I do expect him to uh, increase his touchdown production that he had last season. The next player I want to talk about is Drake Lennon, first round pick. Eighth overall, big frame receiver, six foot four, 220 pounds. All the things you want to see in a prototypical wide receiver one, but he is a rookie. So you want to be careful when you're drafting him. Probably have him in that wide receiver three range. Don't reach too far on him. He'll be an amazing talent, especially later on down the league for those dynasty guys. A great pick. But for redraft this season, I like him, but more as an upside wide receiver three play, especially later in the year. So if you see him struggling early on, go ahead and trade for him. I think he'll be a good player. He's the type of receiver you want to have. Big frame, can go get the ball, uh, uses his hands and great body control. So just keep him on your draft board. Make sure that he's not slipping too far because people don't recognize the name, but a great rookie pick. And last but not least, want to talk about Cordero Patterson, who had a phenomenal year last year, kind of came out of nowhere. Everybody expected Mike Davis to be the guy that took over the running back backfield. And it was Cordero Patterson who stepped up, had a monster season, including catching the rock as well. Played a little bit of that combination running back wide receiver role. So we saw them using him very versatile. And then towards the end of the season, he fell off a little bit so that's why you'll see his draft capital go a little bit lower than it should um, earlier in the year he was valued as like a top 50 player and then towards the end of the season uh, he was a back hundred player so I think right now where he's going in drafts is perfect you'll get him in that 90 to 100 spot he'll probably be you know in the RB3 RB4 range and have potential for more so I don't think we should write Cordero Patterson completely off but don't expect the same production we saw early in the season last year let me know what you guys think. Are those your top three players for the Falcons? Or you got somebody else in mind? As always, take advantage of the offer below, and we'll see you on the next hurry up.